three, belly button in, very good. Two, feel your leg is kind of shaking here, feel your booty are growing, and about to see the result. Xin chào, welcome to Moving Mango and welcome back to our weekly one hour Pilates workout to strengthen your total body and today I'm gonna divide this one into two parts so if you don't have enough time or if you just want an easy day feel free to join me for only one part because it's also like a mini workout now if you're ready, just roll your mat and let's do it together Alright, now let's start by allowing yourself to sit tall with your back in neutral, pull the belly button in, chest open and shoulders down. We're gonna warm up a little bit before we start the main workout. Now, if you feel like it's easier for you, especially if you have a tight hips, just feel free to open your knees and press your feet down like this to lengthen your spine because the most important thing here is we want to lengthen the spine. And feel free to sit on a pillow as well. So Pull the belly button in, you can put your hands on your knees to inhale and exhale deeply. You can close your eyes and feel your body connecting to the mat through your sitting bones here. So inhale and exhale. Couple more times, you with your own breath to get along with the mat here and the environment around us first. So inhale and exhale. Inhale deeply, you can even Put your hands on your rib cage here. Feel your rib cage is open and expanding when you inhale. And exhale. Very good. Keep breathing one more time. And exhale. Get all the air out of your lung. And slowly open your eyes. Now start to rotate your shoulders fully to four directions. And reverse. Lengthen your spine. Make sure you look towards the front to lengthen your neck. And now articulate your spine. Look towards the front. Cat and cone in sitting position. And round your spine, chin to chest. We're going to try to do it for five more times with your own breath. So do it slowly and use the breath to control the movement. Exhale, round your spine. And inhale, open. And exhale, round. And each vertebra breath at a time. Just do it really slowly and enjoy the movement in the moment that we have here. So keep breathing round and slowly. Go a little bit further, pull the belly button to support your lower back. And if you cross your leg like this, feel free to change to the other side. So you're gonna feel the same stretch on both sides of your hips. So keep breathing round your spine, pull the belly button in, and two, articulate your spine, inhale, and exhale deeply through your mouth. And the last one, inhale, and exhale, round your spine, and slowly bring it back to the center. Very good. Now I wanted to allow yourself to bring your arms to the side, shoulders down, keep your arms parallel to the floor, and I'll start to rotate your arms fully, like a tiny circle here. Use your whole arms, not just your wrist. So keep breathing for 10, 9, 8, belly button in, 6, 5, 4, keep breathing, and two and one and then reverse for 10 more times here use your whole arms again in tiny circle just slowly with your breath beautiful and five four three two and one and now try to reach your hand to one side and to the opposite side we're going to try to do this for five more times each side here look towards the front belly button in and again, always feel free to open your knees, bending your knees if it's easier for you. Very good. Keep breathing. And two. Now last one. Inhale. And exhale to the opposite side. And slowly bring it back to the center. Rotate your wrist while you still keep your arms parallel to the floor here. And then reverse. And slowly bring your hands on your knees. Rotate your shoulders again. And reverse. Now I wanted to inhale, bring your head to one side. You can use your hand to pull your head a little bit further and slowly come back to the opposite side and slowly bring it back to the center one more time. Exhale deeply back to the center, to the opposite side, inhale. 
and exhale back to the central. Now look down to the mat and up. Don't have to go so far, just really listen to your neck here. So one more time, inhale slowly with your breath and exhale up and slowly bring it back to the center. Very good. Interlace your finger, reach forward, reach a little bit more. You can roll your spine a little bit here and then slide your arms back to open your chest, lengthen your spine. I'm going to try to do it for three. Keep breathing and two and last one and slowly bring your hands down, rotate your shoulders and then reverse and we're gonna to move to the main workout here. All right, so I wanted to inhale and come to the O4 position. Open your arms, shoulders apart, your legs hip width apart. Now, soften your knees, your elbows a little bit and shoulders far away from your ears. Hips on top of your knees, tuck your feet, dip your shoulders down between your arms and then lengthen. So make sure you always keep your arms lengthening here and always feel free to soften your elbows a little bit if you need to for your wrist. So keep breathing, inhale and exhale for 10. Lengthen your spine, only bring your shoulders up and down between your arms here. Keep your back in neutral and down and lift for three, two, look down to the mat and last one. And now articulate your spine, cat and cold shoulders far away from your ears. Look towards the front, belly button in to support your lower back and slowly round your spine, chin to chest. Try to bring your upper spine a little bit higher and slowly back to the center again. Articulate your spine, shoulders far away from your ears. Inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth, slowly with your own breath. Exhale, belly button in, squeezing the thighs if you can. If not, it's totally fine, really. Focus on your core here to protect your lower back and to feel your spine is stretching. Very good, last one. And slowly bring it back to the center, all right? Now the next movement, I wanted to keep your feet together, lengthen one leg to the back and the opposite arm towards the front here, inhale. And exhale down to the other side. So make sure when you lengthen your arm here, your shoulders always on top of your wrist. Soften your elbow a little bit to make it easier for your wrist. Keep breathing, inhale and exhale down to the opposite side and slowly bring it back, pull the belly button in. Very good, inhale and exhale. And five more times with your own breath. So keep breathing, make sure you stabilize your hips here. Pull the belly button in to make it easier and really engage your core, look down to the mat and come back to the opposite side, inhale and exhale back to the center two more times here with your own breath. So keep breathing, lengthen and exhale, come back to the other side. Make sure your hips are balanced and facing down to the mat, last one, to the opposite side and slowly bring it back to the center. Shake your hips a little bit, inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth. <sighs> All right, and now when you're ready, I wanted to allow yourself to rotate your shoulders here, rotate your elbows here actually. So five, four, just do it really slowly and don't press so much on your wrist. So really lift your shoulder a little bit higher if you can and reverse for five, four, three, two, anyone and then put your whole forearms down to the mat shoulders on top of your elbows lengthen your legs and lengthen the opposite leg come to forearm plank you can open your legs here with the pad to make it easier so bend your knees down put your knees down to the mat tuck your feet and then lengthen lift your whole arms up your whole hips up i mean and bring it down again. So make sure that your torso all the way parallel to the floor and lengthen, lift it up and then down. And we're gonna try to do it for eight more times here with your own breath. So keep breathing, inhale and exhale. Seven, look towards the middle of your fingers to lengthen your neck. Six, make sure you don't pull your chin up to the front because it's gonna cause a lot of stress on your neck. So keep breathing. Very good. And three, inhale. And five more times. Six, uh, four. Very good. Keep breathing and lengthen. Stabilize and pull the belly button in. Two, almost done. Keep it up. And last one, lengthen. And slowly bring your knees down. You can come to try pause. Shake your hips a little bit. Inhale deeply through your nose. And exhale deeply through your mouth. 
very good allow yourself to lie all the way down on your belly all right now i want you to interlace your fingers to the front of your chest put your shoulders far away from your ears so from here i want you to make sure that you always lengthen your neck look to the top of the mat put your shoulders far away and belly button in now open your legs a bit apart activate your feet inhale and exhale bend your knee tap tap and then come back to the opposite side and come back to the center so make sure you make a short breath exhale when you bend your knee and then come back to the other side i'm going to try to do it for eight more times each side here with your own breath keep breathing seven belly button in press your hip bones down to the mat and six feel your quad is working here to the opposite side five come back to the other side and four belly button in to the opposite side three beautiful shoulders always far away from your ears and belly button towards the spine to support your lower back now last one to the other side and slowly bring your legs down show your heels a little bit and put your whole forearms down to the mat put your shoulders far away from your ears so your shoulders on top of your elbows here now inhale and slowly engage your core put your torso far away from your mat now pull the belly button in and lift your hips up so you're going to feel like you're back in neutral position here squeeze your booty muscles and engage your core so now i want you to start to engage your core and lift one arm up and down to the opposite side and then come back so try to do it for five more times with your own breath and make sure when you do that try not to move your torso so much only your arm is moving so keep breathing belly button in and keep the same angle so your shoulder always on top of your elbows here pull the belly button in for five really engage your core try to stabilize your hips four you can always move your hands towards the center to make it easier beautiful to stabilize your hips belly button all the way towards the spine and last one and to the opposite side and slowly bring it down shake your hips and lay your whole torso down to the mat now i want you to bring your hands over your head here look down to the mat and start to lift one arm and opposite leg up so inhale lift and exhale down to the other side and then come back we're going to try to do it for 10 times to each side with your own breath so keep breathing nine belly button in to the opposite side make sure you always reach your hand further when you bring your arm up and your leg towards the back try to lengthening your whole arms and legs and spine here when you lift and down inhale and exhale use your breath to control the movement to the other side and down and come back to the opposite side keep breathing make sure you don't hold your breath because your breath gonna help to engage your core more and to control the form better so keep breathing and three to the opposite side inhale lengthen and lift exhale down two keep breathing and last one pull the belly button in to support your lower back bring your hips down shake your hips inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth now we're gonna make it more challenging here by inhale lift both arms and legs up at the same time and to the opposite side here so inhale and exhale down now make sure that you don't have to lift so high just really listen to your lower back here only bring your legs and arms to the point that you feel comfortable with your lower back so really pull the belly button in towards the spine here we're going to try to do it together now so 10 keep breathing and 9 belly button in 8 beautiful 7 6 5 activate your feet squeeze your booty engage your core 2 only bring your legs up if it's easier for you and slowly bring your whole torso down shake your hips again you can rest your head on your hand inhale and exhale i'm going to do it for a couple more breaths here so inhale and exhale you can close your eyes just enjoy a little bit rest here all right now the next movement i wanted to allow yourself to lift your whole arms and legs up and start to pumping your opposite arms and legs like we're swimming here so keep breathing make sure you look down to the mat and lengthen your neck here so we don't pull your chin up we don't look forward because it's going to cause a lot of pressure on your neck and just keep breathing lift your chest a little bit higher if you can and really pull the belly button in focus on your core here to support your lower back 
He bounced down to the mat, stabilize your hips, only your arms and legs, pumping just very tiny movement, but we really feel your whole body burning and working here. Very good. I'm gonna try to do it for five, four belly button in. Keep breathing, guys. Three, two, and last one, slowly bring it down. Shake your hips, you know, deeply to your nose. Exhale deeply through your mouth. One more deep breath, and exhale. Very good. All right, now the next movement, just interlace your finger towards the back. So, lengthen your arms, rest your head down, rotate your head, your neck to one side, inhale, and exhale, lift your torso up, and exhale, inhale, and slowly bring it down, torso down, rotate your head to the other side, and lift it up, and to the opposite side. So make sure you use your whole arm to pull your torso up, and press your hip bones down to the mat. Inhale, look down to the mat as well, and Rotate and then come back to the opposite side. Make sure you use the breath to control the movement here. Pull the belly button in and lift and down to the opposite side and come back. Very good. Keep breathing for five more times with your own breath. Inhale, pull the belly button in and make sure you don't have to lift so high and don't lift your heels up. Press your heels down so you're gonna only walk your torso here and that's why we don't we make it easier for your lower back. So keep breathing too. Lengthen your neck. And last one. And slowly bring your torso down. Shake your hips, inhale deeply through your nose. And exhale deeply through your mouth. Very good. Now I wanted to allow yourself to bring your hands neck to your chest here. Close your elbows towards the back. Put your shoulders far away from your ears and tuck your feet. So. I wanted to engage your core and pull the belly button in and I start to lift your whole torso up just above the mat. So as high as you can, but really listen to your body and don't have to be so high. Hold it here for five, four. Close your elbows to the back, lengthen your spine. Three, beautiful guys, almost done. Two, and last one, slowly bend your knees. Let your whole torso down, shake your hips. You guys are amazing. Inhale and exhale. And two more times, stay with your own breath. Inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth. Very good. Now, for the next movement, we're gonna do the same thing, but this time we're gonna make it a little bit easier and also a little bit more challenging by just putting your forearms down to the mat so we're gonna have more support here for the torso. Put your shoulders far away from your ears and tuck your feet. Now, again, lift your whole torso up and then slowly bring your one leg up and down to the opposite side so it's a little bit more challenging but i really want you to try and if you're a beginner or if you just want an easy day feel free to just stay there and don't have to move your leg and make sure when you move your leg make sure that your hips stabilize and not moving oh your leg is moving here i'm gonna try to do it for five inhale and down to the opposite side four Look towards the middle of your fingers, feel your whole body is burning and shaking. Very good. For three, belly button in, squeeze your booty, squeeze in the thighs. Beautiful. Two, almost done guys. And last one, don't arch your back. Keep your back in neutral position, bend your knees down. And I just whole body down to the mat. Inhale deeply to your nose. Exhale deeply to your mouth. Now you can come to try pose to take a little bit rest here. Open your knees wider to stretch your back more. And inhale deeply through your nose. Exhale deeply through your mouth. And one more deep breath. And exhale. And when you're ready, allow yourself to sit along the mat. Okay? So lengthen your legs. Open your legs, hip it apart. And dorsi flex with your feet here. Now lengthen your spine and Feel free to sit on a pillow if it's easier for you or feel free to bend your knees here if it's easier for you to lengthen your spine. So I wanted to allow yourself to pull the belly button in, bring your arms towards the front and then slowly palms facing towards each other. Press, slide your arms back to open your chest, engage your core as much as possible and now inhale, lift your arms up. Exhale, bring it down, still keep lengthening your spine and you already feel your whole core working. But if you really want to make it to the next level, just lean backward. Chest push up, pull the belly button in. Now hold it here. And I want you to inhale, lift your arms up, 
and down without moving your torso. So don't arch your back, don't round your spine. Just keep it at the same neutral position and lengthen, chest open, lifting, lifting and only moving your arms here. Belly button all the way in. Now press your feet down, squeezing the thighs and try to contract your pelvic floor muscles by imagining that trying to, you're trying to stop the urine flow here. So I'm going to try to do it for three. Keep breathing, almost done guys. Two, belly button in. And the last one and slowly bring it down. Hug your knees to your chest. Inhale deeply to your nose. Exhale deeply to your mouth. All right, now if you feel like your core isn't working here, you don't feel tired and if it's really easy for you, then probably you have to track a little bit more with your core is engaged enough. All right, so lean back, what? Chest open, pull the belly button in, really pull it deeply towards the spine here and inhale. You can feel your ribcage here, now exhale, high your ribcage inside. Lean back, what? Hands behind your thighs here. Now, if you have done workout with me for a while, if you definitely feel like a little bit stronger, lift your arms up, arms parallel to the upper legs, activate your feet, chest open, push your chest up here, and pull the belly button in, lean a little bit backward, a little bit more. So keep breathing, and lift your leg up to the opposite side for 10, to the other side. Now, make sure you look towards the front. Don't lift your chin up. So you're gonna feel less pressure on your neck. Keep breathing for four, belly button in, arms up a little bit higher. Try to bring your leg without changing your knees angle. And three, keep breathing, two, to the opposite side. And last one, inhale and exhale down to the opposite side and slowly bring it down. Hug your knees to your chest, inhale deeply to your nose. Exhale deeply to your mouth. Very good. Now I'm going to allow yourself to lengthen your legs here. Open your legs a bit apart and bring your hands behind your hips. Close your elbows towards the back. Soften your elbows and pull the belly button in. Your fingers point towards the front and shoulders far away from your ears. I want you to inhale and lift your whole hips up. Look towards the front. Make sure you again don't point your chin up to the sky and slowly bring your hips down. Now if you want to make it easier for your wrist, put your whole forearms down to the mat. Shoulders on top of your wrist, your elbows here, and then lift it up and down, and make sure you always keep your chin to the chest here. So lift and down, squeezing your thighs, and make sure you always don't keep your shoulders close to your ears like this. Don't make any tension. Put your shoulders all the way down towards the mat. So again, we're gonna do it together for ten. Keep breathing, nice squeezing your thighs, and just eight. Make sure you bring your hips up and down slowly and control without dropping it very quick because that way you're going to feel is more engaged and burn more calories here, more fat here. So very good. Keep breathing for three. Belly button in. Press your heels down. Lift and down. Two. Now last one. Lift and slowly bring your heels down. Allow yourself to lie all the way down on the mat, hug your knees to your chest, inhale deeply to your nose, and exhale deeply to your mouth, inhale, and exhale, very good guys, now bend your knees, open your legs, feet apart, and press your feet down to the mat, arms along your body, tuck your feet forward, pull the belly button in, press your lower back down to the mat, and squeeze in the thighs, squeeze your booty muscles, press your feet down, and engage your core, hold it here for three, two, and one slowly bring your hips down to the mat. I'm going to try to do it for five more times with your own breath. So inhale, lift it up, squeeze your booty muscles, work your booty, squeeze in the thighs. Make sure that the distance from between your knees is still stay the same. So keep breathing, inhale, and exhale, slowly bring your hips down for five more times with your own breath. And slowly bring it back, four, and come back. And three, squeeze your booty, squeeze in the thighs. Beautiful, press your feet down. Two, and last one, lift. And now slowly bring it down, back to neutral, shake your hips. And I wanted to go a little bit further by just move your hips all the way up. Hold it here, squeeze your booty, engage your core, and start to lift on heel up and to the opposite side. Shoulders press down to the mat, and change your chest. Look towards the knees here for 10, keep breathing. Nice, squeezing the thighs to the opposite side. Eight, 
where I could keep breathing seven, belly button in six, and five. Make sure you stabilize your hips, keep it balanced and facing forward the ceiling. And three, press your whole hands down, reach your hand towards the heels. Two, beautiful, and now last one, lift. And slowly bring your heels down, draw your hips all the way down. Shake your hips, inhale deeply through your nose. Exhale deeply through your mouth. All right, for the next movement, just make it a little bit more challenging by bringing your feet toward the center. Now, try to keep your knees toward the center and stick to get stick together lift your knee up activate your foot and now lift your whole hips up without fluctuating your hips here so stabilized press your whole arms for more support and then slowly bring your hips down each vertebra at a time now pull the belly button in tuck your tailbone forward and again move it up and exhale down press your opposite foot down to the mat we're gonna do it for five more times with your own breath so keep breathing do it really slowly five squeezing the thighs and then come back make sure you engage your core and don't have to lift so high just lift as high as you still feel comfortable with your lower back and slowly come back that also means that you listen to your core muscles your abs muscles here so only go to the point that we can feel good with that so inhale lift and exhale down for two more times here inhale try to not open your knee to the side just really keep it facing up to the ceiling now last one lift and slowly bring it down to the opposite side here so lift your opposite leg up make sure that your hips are not stable are not fluctuating and just stabilized facing up to the sky lift it up and down I'm gonna to try to do it for nine more times with your own breath. So keep breathing. Always activate your feet and really pull the belly button in. Shoulder blades down to the mat. Eight. Inhale all the way up. Exhale, bring it down. Seven. And six. Press your whole shoulder blades down and your whole arms down for more support. Six. Keep breathing. Five. And four more times here. Yeah. Almost done. Three, keep breathing, inhale and exhale. And two, and last one, all the way up. And slowly bring it down, hug your knees to your chest. Inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth. Very good. Now the last movement for the first part, I want you to inhale and lift your legs up to 90 degrees, arms along your body, press your whole shoulder blades down, back in neutral position. So easy version, move your legs just down 45 degrees and open your knees, squeeze in the thighs and bring it back, lift it up to the ceiling again. So to make it more challenging here, move your feet down all the way to the mat, but just about the mat so we don't put your actual feet down to the mat because we want to use your core to hold your legs here and then open your knees, squeeze in the thighs and then come back and move it back to the center. We're going to do 10 times in total and I'm going to try to do 5 times in challenging version and 5 times in easier version. So you feel free to try your best here and really engage your core, listen to your lower back. Now inhale down just above the mat, don't all the way down, open your knees and come back, exhale and lift so make sure you always make sure you keep your back in neutral position here and nine keep breathing bring it back slowly with control eight press your whole shoulder blades down belly button in listen to your abs and your back here very good keep breathing inhale and exhale come back and six more times here close slowly and now easier version here so halfway squeeze in your thighs open your knees and then come back and up still very challenging but a little bit easier so keep breathing very good and come back and three more times here press your whole shoulder blades down exhale inhale down open squeeze in the thigh just go a little bit further if you still feel like you can do that and you still feel like your lower back can do that too and last one inhale down open squeeze in the thighs bring it back to the center and back and hug your knees to your chest and inhale deeply to your nose 
and exhale deeply through your mouth. Very good. Now when you're ready, I'm going to lengthen your legs up to the ceiling, dorsiflex flex with your feet, arms along your body, press your whole shoulder blades down and try to reach your hands towards the front. Now engage your core. Now if you feel that like it's easier for you to soften your knees here, feel free to do that but make sure when you move your legs, keep the same angle on your knee. So I'm going to try to do it for 10 times, move one leg down without changing the angle on your knee and to the opposite side, inhale and exhale come back we're going to try to do 10 times here each side so feel free to bring both legs down at the same time if it's more challenging for you if you're really looking to burn and to tone more today very good so again only bring your feet down to the point that you still feel like your back is in neutral position and then come back slowly with control beautiful and eight seven squeezing the thighs i'm trying to lengthen my whole legs here bring it down to the point that your back is doing neutral and then come back six bring it back slowly with control very good guys keep it up and five inhale feel your whole legs and core are shaking very good four dorsiflex flex with your feet three inhale and exhale shoulder blades down and two more times here, belly button in, and last one down, and lift, and hug your knees to your chest, inhale deeply through your nose, and exhale deeply through your mouth, and slowly just take a breath here, and congratulations for completing the first part for today, now if you are complete for the day, then feel free to go all the way to the end of the workout to do the cool down part if you want to join me for the next one just stay tuned and we're gonna see each other very soon in a few seconds all right now for the second part i'm going to lift your legs up to 90 degrees again dorsiflex flex with your feet arms along your body now inhale and open your legs to the side and exhale bring it back so open as wide as you can and really squeeze in the thighs do that if you want to make it more challenging try to lengthen your legs all the way up and open and then bring it back slowly with control you can open your arms wider to make it more challenge more to make it easier for support keep breathing open and then come back for eight two more times here. Pull the belly button in, back in neutral. Don't press your whole lower back down to the mat. Just really keep your back in neutral here. Hips are neutral as well. Shoulder blades down and inhale. Squeeze in the thighs, bring it back to the center. Seven and six. Always keep your feet dorsiflex. flex. And five, four belly button in. Three, keep breathing. And two more times here. Now last one, open and slowly bring it back, hug your knees to your chest. And now you want to allow yourself to lengthen one leg to 45 degree and your opposite leg, just use your hand to hug your knee to the chest, inhale and exhale, switch. So you're back in neutral position here, pull the belly button in if you want to make it more challenging. Now lift your head and your shoulders off the mat and again lengthen to the opposite side and we call it a single leg stretch here. So keep breathing belly button in try to lift your chest even higher one fist distance from your chin to your chest 10 more times each side so exhale every time you switch and nine stick your lower back down to the mat eight try to use your hand to pull your knee towards the chest even more seven try to reach your opposite foot further away and always keep one fist distance from your chin to your chest and five lift your chest higher or you can always use your hand to support your head if it's easier for your neck. So again, listen to your body and do what to make you feel good here and make you feel comfortable here. And also still feel challenging. So three, belly button in, two, feel your lower abs, so good. And last one, exhale to the opposite side and bring your head down, hug your knees to your chest. Inhale deeply to your nose. Exhale deeply through your mouth. All right, now I wanted to allow yourself to lengthen both legs up to the ceiling again. This time we don't dorsiflex with your feet anymore. We just pull your toes all the way up to the ceiling and arms along your body. Now inhale and bring one leg down and then to the side and then come back. 
and lift it back, uh, up to the sky again. So make sure that you engage your core and lengthen your leg all the way up. Now you can f again feel free to soften your knees if it's easier for you but again make sure you keep the same angle on your knee and lengthen. I'm going to try to squeeze in the thighs and squeeze your booty muscles here 10 times each side and let's do it together. So inhale, open, come back and up, back in neutral, open your arms wider to have more support. If you need to, shoulder blades down, pull the belly button in and really press your hips down to the mat. So don't lift your hips up, stabilize your hips, only your legs are moving and squeezing the thighs. Keep breathing, come back to the center and lift. Now inhale down and open. Exhale, come back and lift. Inhale and exhale. And don't hesitate to make a big and deep breath here because it's, gonna, it's really hard with your core. So just keep breathing here and then come back very good. I'm going to try to do it for six more times each side with your own breath. Pull the belly button in, inhale, lengthen, exhale, come back to the other side and back to the center. Four. Try to lengthen and reach a little bit more to the side if you can. Really listen to your body and bring it back slowly. You kind of feel your legs are shaking. Very good. And two, open to the opposite side. Come back. Now last one, inhale, lengthen. And exhale back to the center to the other side and slowly bring it back to the center and bend your knees, hug your knees to your chest. Inhale deeply to your nose. Exhale deeply through your mouth. And when you're ready, just slowly lift your legs up to 90 degrees and the arms along your body start to make a pumping with your arms. So you're going to do the hundreds with modification or challenge, more challenging version if you want. So start with the easy version here. Just keep breathing back in neutral position. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, through three, four, five, through your mouth. Inhale. Exhale. Now, if you want to make it more challenge, move your knees further away or even lengthen your legs all the way towards the front. Lift your head up, one fist distant from your chin to your chest. Inhale and exhale. And press your lower back down if you lift your head up. Use your hand to support your head if it's easier for your neck. Otherwise, lift your chest even higher to really feel your six pack and to have more support with your neck here. Keep breathing, lower your legs even more or always feel free to come back to 90 degrees at your knees if it's easier for you. And if you really want to make it even easier, put your legs down, press your feet down, squeeze in the thighs, contract your pelvic floor muscle. It's to work very good here. But again, I want to challenge myself today, so I'm going to length, lengthen my legs to the front for five more times here. Use your whole arms to pump. Inhale. And exhale. Four. Three, chest up a little bit higher, belly button in, and two, and last one, and head down, hug your knees to your chest, that's amazing, I'm really proud of you guys for coming all the way here, we're almost done, only for 20 more minutes I guess, alright, now inhale deeply to your nose, and exhale deeply to your mouth. And when you're ready, just lift your legs up to 90 degrees again. Now pull your knees further away from your hips. So it's further away from your chest, more than your hips here. You're going to already feel your lower abs are working here, right? Arms along your body, shoulder blades down to the mat. And I want you to inhale slowly, open your toes wider while your knees still stick towards each other. And now I want you to inhale slowly, bring one leg down and then come back to the opposite side and back to the center. Now the next movement, open your knees wider and stick your toes together and then bring one leg down, come back, squeeze your thighs to the other side. Very good, so it's like a set, the whole set, including four movement. Open your knees first, each leg down and up at a time and try to make it a little bit faster so you can easier to imagination, uh, imagining here because it's kind of like complicating movement. All right, we're going to try to do it for 10 sets like this and I want you to really engage your core here, move your knees further away and again arms along your body for more support. Now let's do it together. So open your toes wider, move it down and slowly bring it back, really engage your core. Keep your back in neutral position. Press your hip bones down to the mat and then rotate and down and lift 
to the other side and then come back for nine more sets like this and just really focus on your breath so do it slowly inhale exhale squeezing the thighs to the opposite side and make sure you reach your hand towards the heels and keep your shoulders far away from your ears eight come back inhale down exhale lift to the opposite side and then come back and seven belly button in engage your core as much as possible and make sure you always keep your knees further away from your chest down your hips beautiful i'm going to try to do it for six more times only six more times and you guys can do this because it's really really good to feel it after this all right very good keep breathing knees to the center and come back to the other side four more times inhale and exhale to the opposite side really engage your core feel your lower up really working here beautiful and three belly button in two you can always move your knees towards the hips a little bit more if it's easier for your lower back so really listen to your lower back here and the last one knees towards each other leg down and up to the opposite side and back and toes together come back to the other side and slowly hug your knees to your chest that's it i want to inhale deeply through your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth and rotate your ankles and then reverse and move to the next movement here so lift your legs up to 90 degrees again so knees on top of your hips arms along your body and i wanted to inhale open your arms wider and start to bring your legs to one side and then come back to the center to the opposite side and come back to the center i wanted to go a little bit further if you can and because i have a very small space today so i'm going to go as far as i can and balance on both sides i really want you to try your best and make sure when you do that only to the part that you still feel like your lower back is comfortable and challenging at the same time so really engage your core press your whole shoulder blades down so when you bring your legs to one side make sure that your opposite shoulder blades still press down to the mat and now your knees moving further away from your hips to make it even more challenging so keep breathing very good we're gonna try to do it for six more times stay with your own breath inhale and exhale come back and five belly button in to the other side and four inhale and exhale to the opposite side three keep breathing feel your obliques is burning two this is gonna create a really beautiful waist for you and last one inhale and exhale to the opposite side and slowly bring it back to the center bring your feet down shake your hips inhale deeply to your nose exhale deeply through your mouth all right now i wanted to allow yourself to lengthen one leg to the front and down to the mat now your opposite leg up to the ceiling here activate your foot but if you feel it's easier for you feel free to bend your knees and use your hand to hug your thighs here now i want to try to lengthen my leg today and lift your head up so one foot one uh, feet distant from your chin to your chest press your lower back down to the mat and lift your opposite leg up now inhale and slowly rotate your lower leg here so i wanted to try to do it for 10 keep breathing nine stabilize your hips press both hips down to the mat eight seven chest even higher to protect your neck and five if you want to make it easier lay all the way down on the mat bring your whole head down to the mat four three keep breathing two beautiful and last one and then reverse for 10 more times and again as i said i want to feel more challenging today so i just lift my head up and keep your chest a little bit higher to really feel and stabilize your hips here and feel challenged keep breathing for five activate your feet four three stabilize your hips open your elbows wider if you can two and last one and then move to the opposite side so activate your feet try to rotate for 10 nine keep breathing eight open your elbows wider if you can seven six is okay if you don't but just always keep your shoulders far away from your ears and three two and last one and then reverse so again stabilize your hips really pull the belly button in for more support now feel free to use your hand to support your head or you can just rest your head down if it's easier for your neck so five four 
three beautiful guys almost done and last one slowly hug your knees to your chest rotate your ankles again and then reverse inhale deeply to your nose exhale deeply through your mouth and when you're ready i want you to allow yourself to bend your knees down arms open arms along your body and legs open hip width apart press your feet down now if you want to work more on your booty muscles here to make a bigger booty just open your legs wider than your hips press your feet down and tuck your tailbone forward draw your hips all the way up squeeze your booty muscles all right and now slowly draw your hips all the way down again so make sure you reach your hand towards the heels press your whole shoulder blades down i'm going to try to do it for 10 more times with your own breath squeeze your inner thighs and nine keep breathing inhale and exhale contract your pelvic floor muscles eight inhale all the way up and exhale down and seven more times take with your own breath keep breathing six squeeze in the thighs and five more times to inhale and exhale press your whole feet down to the mat four squeeze your body really engage your core to support your lower back here and three belly button in and two more times here all the way up and exhale slowly bring it down and the last one all the way up hold it here and i wanted to make a little pulse with your hips now press your feet down stabilize your shoulders here for 10 9 keep breathing seven six belly button in squeeze your booty squeeze your thighs and four three two and last one slowly draw your hips all the way down shake your hips a little bit and inhale deeply to your nose exhale deeply through your mouth for the next movement move your hips all the way up imagining that you have a ball between your thighs i want you to squeeze into the ball bring your knees towards each other and then release so i'm going to try to do it for 10 times with your own breath so keep breathing 10 beautiful nice squeeze your inner thighs contract your pelvic floor muscles now lower your hips if it's easier for your lower back but if you feel okay with your lower back just go as high as you can and squeeze in the thighs pull the belly button in very good and six five four three i love this two and last one slowly draw your hips all the way down and really feel it on your booty muscles already you know deep it your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth very good now lean on one side to do psychic series so hand support your head and lengthen your legs towards the front activate your feet the other hand in front of your chest and put your shoulder far away from your ears squeezing the thighs now inhale lift your legs up and exhale bring it down so your leg just lift about the hip and then come back right away inhale squeezing the thighs bring it down slowly with your own breath keep breathing and nine eight seven six and five if you want to make it easier bend your bottom knee and press your whole leg down to the mat and the key thing here is we don't flat to edge your hips and last one and slowly bring it down shake your hips and then bend both knees to 90 degrees here so again your hips not lean forward not backward just really hip on hip here pull the belly button in now activate your feet open your whole leg up as high as you can and bring it down for 10 times with your own breath so keep breathing nine eight beautiful guys seven six keep breathing and five inhale and exhale four belly button in and three more times with your own breath squeeze your thighs through your booty here two and last one open and slowly bring it down shake your hips and slowly dorsi flex with your feet now open your leg as high as you can try to lengthen and come back and close 10 times here so squeeze your thighs i want you to try to open as wide as you can with the lifting your lower leg and nine keep breathing press your lower leg down to the mat squeeze your thighs inhale lengthen exhale come back eight inhale and exhale seven belly button in very good and six i know it feels crazy but i want you to try just for a few more times because we're almost done with this side and five beautiful four open and lengthen and come back shoulders far away from your ears make sure you always engage your core to support your hips to make it stabilized here and three more times here inhale try to open as wide as the first one you do 
very good. And two, I know it's really challenging. I love this one so much. And last one, inhale, lengthen, and exhale slowly. Bring it down, shake your hips. You can use your hand to make a little bit massage here on your hips and feel really good with that. All right, now the last movement for this psychic series. I wanted to lengthen your top leg to just about the hips and dorsiflex flex with your feet. And now I wanted to inhale and slowly lift your leg up as high as you can. Bring it down just above the hip again and then move it towards the front and then come back. We're gonna do it 10 times with your own breath. So inhale, lift. Exhale down and then move forward and back to the center for nine. Keep breathing and come back slowly, squeezing the thigh. Always keep your leg parallel to the floor and above your hip when you bring your leg down. Very good. Keep breathing, squeezing the thighs. Beautiful. Press your lower leg down to the mat. All right, for only five more times here. Yeah, so I wanted to. Try a little bit more, do it really slow. The slower we do, the more challenging it is. Squeeze your thighs, contract your pelvic floor muscles, and pull the belly button in. Three, inhale, and exhale down. And two more times with your own breath. So inhale, exhale, inhale forward, exhale backward. Now last one, lift and down and move forward and back to the center and come back through your hips inhale deeply through your nose exhale deeply through your mouth you guys are amazing let's move to the other side and we're almost done here so all right again use your hand to support your head here pull the belly button in your hips not forward not backward just really engage your core the other hand in front of your chest and activate your feet now pull the belly button in and slowly lift your leg up just above the hip and then come back 10 times with your own breath i wanted to really try to challenge yourself here because it doesn't mean that the higher we do the more the harder it is it's just like the different side the different kind of mus muscles are working here so i wanted to try to just about the hips and then come back squeezing the thighs and lift and down for five more times with your own breath so pull the belly button in four squeezing the thighs activate your feet and two more times here now last one inhale up and exhale down beautiful shake your hips inhale deeply to your nose exhale deeply through your mouth now bend both knees to 90 degrees open your leg as wide as you can and then come back activate your feet for 10 squeezing the thighs nine keep breathing eight seven beautiful and six i really wanted to do a outdoor workout today but then it's raining so hard and slowly come back and three more times with your own breath and two inhale and exhale and last one and slowly bring it back to the center shake your hips a little bit now for the next movement just open it as wide as you can and lengthen and then come back and bring it down so because in the last movement in the other side i dorsiflex with my feet here so i'm going to do the same thing open 10 times and then come back and slowly bring it back to the center and nine squeeze your thighs stabilize your hips press your lower leg down to the mat eight Keep breathing, shoulders far away from your ears and pull the belly button in seven, inhale. Exhale, come back. Six, lengthen and back to the center and five more times with your own breath. Beautiful. Four, inhale, open and lengthen, squeeze in the thighs, contract your pelvic floor muscles. Three, belly button in, very good. Two, Feel your leg is kind of shaking here. Feel your booty are growing. And about to see the result. Very good. Now last one and slowly bring it back to the center. Shake your hips. Inhale deeply to your nose. Exhale deeply through your mouth. And the last movement. I wanted to lengthen your legs towards the front. Dorsi flex with your foot. And now slowly inhale like a set again. Lift it up as high as you can. And then bring it down and towards the front. And then come back. We're gonna try to do it for 10 more times with your own breath. So keep breathing. 10. Squishing the thighs. 9. Now bring it down slowly and with control. And 8. I wanted to do it as slow as you can. Squishing the thighs. Always keep your leg parallel to the floor when you bring it down above the hip. 
beautiful. Almost done here, so try a little bit more press your lo lower leg down to the mat for five more times here. Inhale, lift. Exhale, down. Inhale to the front. And exhale, come back for belly button in, shoulders far away from your ears. Keep breathing, don't hold your breath three more times. Almost done. Very good, guys. Keep it up. Two. And towards the front. And last one, lift and slowly towards the front and then come back to the center, bend your knees here. Inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply to your mouth. Now just only one more challenge before we move to the cool down part. So I want you to try your best here. Now bend your forearms down and lengthen, come to forearm plank. So open your legs a bit apart. Make sure you don't arch your back, so really engage your core here. You can bend your knees down and keep it just above the mat if it's easier for you. So I really want you to lengthen to feel more challenging. Now look towards the middle of your fingers, lengthen your neck, look down to the mat, hold it here for 10, 9, belly button in, 8, 7, almost done guys, keep it up a little bit more, and 5, 4, 3, keep breathing, don't hold your breath, 2, and last one, slowly bring it back, open your knees wide, come to try pose here, inhale deeply to your nose, exhale deeply to your mouth, Inhale one more time and exhale. And when you're ready, slowly allow yourself to sit up to do the cool down. All right, now I want you to open your legs here with the part, dorsi flex with your feet. And now inhale, bring your hands towards the front. You can always bend your knees if it's easier for you to lengthen your spine. Pull the belly button in, don't arch your back, don't round your spine, just keep it in the middle. Now rotate the torso to one side and open. Come back to the opposite side and open and come back. We're gonna try to do it for five times there with your own breath. Keep breathing. Four. And three. Inhale. And exhale, come back to the other side. Two. And last one. Pull the belly button in to the opposite side and slowly bring it back to the center, shake your hips, inhale deeply to your nose, and exhale deeply to your mouth. And when you're ready, I want you to put your hands on opposite thighs, open your elbows wider, hold it here for five, look towards the back, and use your hand to walk further, if you can, three, two, and last one, to the opposite side here. So again, hold it here for a couple more seconds, Feel your oblique straight stain. Hold it here for three, two, and last one slowly bring it back to the center. Rotate your shoulders fully to four directions. And exhale. And then reverse. Inhale. And exhale. And I want you to interlace your finger, reach towards the front and round your spine and then slide back to open your chest. You can cross your leg here if you want or you can keep the same position like before if it's easier for your hips here. So keep breathing for three, belly button in, two, and last one. And slowly open your arm to the side. And I wanted to inhale, try to reach your hands to go to the side like someone pulling your arms away from your shoulders. So you're gonna feel your whole arms and shoulders are stretching here for 10, nine. Keep breathing, go a little bit further if you can. Eight, seven, reach a little bit more, six, and five, now you can always reach your hand towards one side, to the opposite side, four, belly button in, to the other side, and three, keep breathing, and last one, to the other side, and slowly bring it back to the center, soften your elbows and bring your hands towards the U-letter here, now bring your arm towards the front and lengthen, come back, open, I'm gonna try to do it for five times, stay with your own breath, so keep breathing, four, Open, lengthen, and then open your shoulders, your chest. Three, keep breathing. Beautiful. And two. Now last one, lengthen. And come back, open, and slowly bring your hands down. Now bend your knees here, open your legs, and lengthen your arms, lift your arms up and down for five. Keep breathing, four. Belly button in, three, two, 
and last one and slowly bring your hands down shake your hips and deeply through your nose exhale deeply through your mouth now bring your head to one side to the opposite side and come back look down to the mat and look towards the front or even all the way up to the ceiling if you feel comfortable with your neck we're going to try to do it for one more time here to the right to the left down to the mat and up to the front or to the ceiling all right very good now last one hold it here and rotate your head around your neck in your halfway exhale halfway and three more rounds here two keep breathing and last one now reverse so really listen to your neck inhale halfway and exhale come back if you feel like you need the support of your hand you can always put your hands on your neck on your head here to have more support and last one and slowly bring it back to the center very good now rotate your wrist and reverse again one more time and reverse put your arms up your forearms up parallel to the floor push your hand to one side lengthen your spine still sit tall to the opposite side always keep your arms parallel to the floor one more time exhale to the opposite side and exhale and slowly back to the center shake your hips inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth you can open your legs as wide as you can always start with a narrow angle here and then lean on one side to feel your hamstring arms over your head so really listen to your body here don't have to go so far you can just go all the way towards the knee if it's easier for you and then come back to the opposite side and back to the center slightly engage your core to support your lower back now feel your hamstring feel your waist is lengthening and one more time here to the opposite side and slowly bring it back to the center reach your hand forward and go as far as you can again really listen to your body don't have to go so far really listen to your lower back actually so pull the belly button in slightly inhale and exhale and when you're ready walk your hands back to the center keep your feet together bend your knees you can put your knees further your heels further away from your hips if it's easier for your hips and start to make a little pull with your knees here so 10 lengthen your spine sit tall 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 and last one cross your leg if you can or open your knees bend your knees if it's easier for you so I'm gonna cross my leg and lengthen your spine hands on your knees then you can close your eyes inhale deeply to your nose exhale deeply through your mouth one more deep breath and exhale and slowly open your eyes when you're ready you can always pause the video to have a longer moment with yourself if you need to and i hope you enjoyed the video let me know how it go by commenting below and i'm gonna see you tomorrow tomorrow for the next workout and if you are new to the channel don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell to see notification every day when i upload new video now again please share my workout to your friends and your family as well because i want more people can access to good quality workout at home and i hope you have a good day bye bye